Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We want to share something really cool with you today. Um, we're so happy to have this uh, XLR convertible top, uh, brand new the way it comes from the top manufacturer with the um, um, sheet metal, meaning trunk lid and top attached, all the hydraulics and sensors in it and uh, the pump and controller down here just exactly the way it would plop into the car uh, when the car is being made and the uh, reason we're showing you that today is twofold one we'll show you where all these components are they're so easy to see this way and two we want to walk you through the sequence of how this top opens and closes what exactly happens so uh, hope you enjoy it enjoy it as much as we do we're having a ball so let's start out with how we've got the pump uh, motor solenoids and electronics set up here so here is where your top is powered we have the hydraulic pump um, as it is uh, mounted in the left rear corner of the trunk and uh, this hydraulic pump has an electric motor in it that can turn clockwise or as Tech 2 calls it in the X direction or counterclockwise and we have to change the rotation of the motor depending on which part is supposed to move plus there are five um, solenoid valves that get activated um, several of them get activated at the most time at the uh, same time usually for the individual um, portions of the sequence to move the top. So these solenoids, after the pump has pressurized the fluid, these solenoids will divert it to the various cylinders. Typically there are um, one, two or three um, cylinders pressurized at the same time to make this top do just the right thing. And um, what is normally controlled by the computer we are uh, created or have created a um, mock-up um, system that basically is um, five switches for the five solenoids on here to activate them whenever a red light is on one of the solenoids is on so right now we have solenoids one four and five activated and we can uh, change the direction of the motor to x or clockwise and y or counterclockwise and of course we have the motor on off switch here and um, you'll soon see this in action I have my cheat sheet here for the five subsequences of the um, opening sequence and uh, another cheat sheet for the five subsequences of the uh, closing sequence of the top so uh, let me next show you uh, where the cylinders are located because it's so nice to see them in this top so for the purist the pump normally is mounted uh, right below this deck lid cylinder here is the left side deck lid cylinder a trunk lid cylinder mounted vertically that uh, raises deck lid and of course on the other side there is a um, an equal copy of the cylinder so there are two deck lid cylinders moving the trunk lid then let's take a look uh, pan up here we have the trunk lid deck lid up right now and here is the rear tonneau cylinder this we're showing the left side here there's another one on the other side this tonneau cylinder will flip this tonneau cover forward or retract it again currently obviously we retracted Next, let's um, show the front tonneau cylinder. It's the same cylinder as the rear tonneau cylinder, only mounted differently here. This is the front tonneau cylinder moves a mechanism that flips the front storage um, trim panel called the tonneau cover uh, up and down. And lastly, we have the main lift cylinder in the top's current position. It's hiding back here in the frame. We'll show you a close-up in a moment when the top is closed. It's a lot more visible and uh, accessible. And after that, we'll show you the front lock cylinder. Well, it's still hard to get it clear in the video. Here's our main lift cylinder mounted horizontally and uh, you'll see in the removal video uh, how the front pin needs to be removed and the rear pin 
and uh, to take the cylinder out again here we're seeing the right main lift cylinder mounted horizontally extended when the top is up so hidden behind this trim panel is the front lock cylinder that um, by extending and retracting uh, pulls a mechanism that um, pulls, closes or opens these uh, locking jaws in the top of the front and you'll see more details of this in our front lock cylinder removal video. Let's have some fun. Uh, we will close the top. First part of the closing sequence is, sequence is motor in Y direction, solenoids 1, 4, 5 activated. This will raise the front tonneau cover and the trunk lid. Here we go. The front tonneau cover raises and the trunk lid goes up. Okay, trunk lid is up. Now we change the direction of the motor. That's the only thing we change and this will make the uh, rear tonneau cover retract. Here we go. Okay, next we will raise the roof and lock it. What is that? It's motor direction X and solenoids 245 instead of 145. Here we go. We'll raise the top. And the top is up. Next, same direction, but solenoids 2, 3, 4 and the front tonneau cover will be lowering. Front tonneau cover is down. Lastly, only solenoid number three and the trunk lid will be closing. Here we go, trunk lid closed and the top is up, yay! Now let's do the lowering or opening sequence. Motor in X direction, solenoids 2, 4, 5 activated. This will raise the front tonneau, unlock the front and raise the trunk lid. Front tonneau has just raised, trunk lid is going up and the front lock cylinder has unlocked as well. You just couldn't see that. Now we keep the motor in the same direction but we activate it solenoids one four five this will retract the roof let's go the roof is down next uh, we change the direction of the motor same solenoids and this will extend the rear tonneau cover next same motor directions but um, solenoids one, three, four, this will lower the front tonneau cover. And lastly, just solenoid three, motor direction Y will close the trunk lid. Trunk lid is down, top is down. Ta-da!